morning my friends so I am here once again ah uh, three days after the constant spring police officers to be more specific the constant spring PIU team this is a team that travels in an unmarked um, Toyota Corolla motor car and these officers we are playing close now um, at this point I haven't heard anything at all from the hierarchy of the Jamaica Constabulary Force or uh, the Minister of National Security about what transpired between these officers and uh, innocent citizens of Jamaica on Friday, December 21st, 2020 at Havendale in the parish of St. Andrew, Kingston 19. Now, I am here today once again and I am here speaking to you, my friends, as I have a duty as a citizen of this country to protect my fellow citizens and it is clear, I know that there's a policy in the Jamaica Constabulary Force that unmarked vehicles are not to stop um, vehicles on the road. And if it is that there's not such a policy in force anymore, I wonder why would that be? Because it is very dangerous for police officers to be traveling in unmarked motor vehicles and trying to stop vehicles that are driving on the road. You see? Police officers, you know, they are here to serve and protect. Now, we can't have police officers going around saying that they are serving and protect the public, but at the same time, they are doing things that can put the public in danger, right? Now, the unfortunate thing, you know, is that one of the officers from that PIU team um, who stopped who stopped us on, 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 on Friday after he realized that I was an attorney at law he said to the other officer it's a lucky thing we never did what we did ever do now I will not say and I will not use this platform to suggest what he was going to do but I know let you be the jury of this why would he say that what was he planning to do I don't know but what I do know is that these police officers used several expletives at me. They kicked my feet apart and they pointed their M16 rifles at me. They pointed their 9mm pistols at me. And I was in real fear for my life. Alright? Now, I need you to tell me if it is that the human rights organization in your country whether it might be the united kingdom or the united states of america or canada wherever you are inbox me let me know if this is an acceptable way of policing to human rights across the world i await your answers all right minister of national security in jamaica and the commissioner of police i am still here awaiting some answers all right yeah, the vlogger will go on my people. Let me tell you something. Police abuse their authority. Right? They abuse the authority that they have. And what they do is, if you don't know your rights, they will walk on you and trample all over you. Right? You hear what that man said? When they realized that he's an attorney at law, he turned to the other one and said, it's a good thing we never do what we did ever do. Now, we don't know what he was going to do. But at the end of the day, police is there to protect and serve. And why would you want to abuse the people you are supposed to be protecting? And I have seen it far too often. Where police feels as if, okay, because we are the law then we don't have to abide by the law and that is very wrong now as i said before when you don't know your rights 
they will work all over you. Now this next clip that I'm about to show you, it's very different from the previous one. But it's simply because this officer in this video right here, right, knows what he's talking about and he's also a senior over the officers who trample up in a yard. Now, take a look at what's going on right here. Right, this is... Let's feature with police to do that. police to yeah. What? Don't, don't do that. No, what are you saying? No, I'm not to do that. No, man. You can video. Video it. What you are saying? Video it, Jay. Right, the reason why the mm -hmm. police is on the premises. Yeah. And the members of the team. Mm -hmm. The... Did everything. The member would have seen some suspicious man. Mm -hmm. Seeing this young man mm -hmm. moving to the side of the house. Yeah. Hence. This is my son. Yes. This 17 year old. This is the reason for being on my member. premises. Yes. No suspicious. What was your suspicion? The what soldier, exactly? The soldier uh -huh. would have seen this man, young man uh -huh. stepped out and moved back in. How you want that idea? See there? Wrong person. Exactly. Uh, anyway. Hence, 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 Sergeant. Uh, anyway, may I ask you to leave my premises? We have, we have, we have no problem. To okay. I'm going to want to do it now. My children, them. Mm -hmm. Police for 20 years. Mm -hmm. You understand? See the you. Yes. You understand? I don't have no right to my premises. What kind of suspicious move? You man move on with us? No, man. Yeah, well, Sergeant, we don't know who uh, uh, here. Anyway, we don't know who me is now. So you can step but, out and go on a merry way. But, but for your police. You permit premises on lawful. What may I say? For your police. Alright, constable. What your name? Constable what? Constable Dyer. Sorry, excuse me. I'm not going to go through the gate. Come on, come on. I'm going to go through the gate. 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 Have a good day. Next time you come here now, alright, don't walk in from the premises. No more people, you not tell me. You not see the difference, right? You can see the difference right there, right? Had that not been somebody over them, had that been a regular civilian who was just in him yard with him pitney them, it would have been a whole different situation right there. What would have happened was them would have abused them authority again, them would have haul and pull the youth them, drag them away, probably care them go lock them up and say them find gun pan them, right? When there was none. So it just goes to show you. Now, this next clip that I'm about to show you is the perfect example of what I just explained. Take a look at this one. If you obstruct the police, no, I'm not obstruct the police. Me attack you. We are questioning him now. Sure, question. We're not questioning you. No problem. What is your name? And Sam. Do you have an ID? No, not on me. All right, guess what I'm gonna do. Yes, sir. So I'm have an ID when I'm in my yard, sir. Continue to obstruct me. Okay, sir. I'm going to. I'm warning you now. I warn you now, if you obstruct me, I'm going to arrest you. Well, Listen now, yes, do you have an ID? No, sir. Do you live here officially? No, but All I right. stay here. I am going to take you. For what reason? I'm go you know, reasonable suspicion. Yeah. I'm going to take Re you to the station and take a bring an ID with you. Make call someone him. call yeah, and bring an identification Hey, call him grandmother. Yeah, this yeah. name that you give me, I yeah. don't believe that name. Yeah, you, 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 you don't I'm believe it. That, that you're not saying that. Like, wait, what is your name? No, I don't believe your name. What, what is your name? Because you don't have an identification. Yeah, it's down my yard. I call it. Grandma, I call you. Grandma. A family didn't come for. Family didn't come for. All right, guess what happened now? Put the hand on. Hey, relax now. Put the hand on. Yeah, so I get ID, so I go call you. All right, you can't. Let's go. Put them on your ear and then zip like that. Don't hurt on your ear. Hey, 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 Get 
right there abuse of authority no don't get me wrong i'm not saying that the officers should not do their jobs but you ask the question do you have identification the young man said no i have none on me him say well okay i'm going to take you to the station all that is fine but at the same time you told him to present an id so the young man go in and pocket for him phone and was about to call someone to bring the ID. And at that time you start dragging all and pull him. You did not say you are under arrest. You did not say you are going to be detained. You did not say turn around and put your hands behind your back. Nothing. You just start drag and all and pull him. Now this is the problem I am having. You need to remember that we are human beings. Just like you. I'm a man. Just like me, you're a man. So treat me like a man. Not because you are wearing um, a uniform and you have the title police. You are supposed to be serving and protecting, not abusing us. That is just my five cents. Talk to me down in the comment section, yard blogger. Oh my God.